Hello friends, in my this video, I am going to discuss about climbing stairs problem, which is one of the very popular problem often asked in different service and product company based placement process. Okay, so let's discuss the problem. I am going to discuss uh, the problem in Java. Okay, so let's start. So here the problem is you are climbing a stair case. It takes n steps to reach the top. Each time you can either climb one or two step in how many distinct ways can you climb to the top note given n will be a positive integer okay so suppose our input is 2 then output should be 2 why if you consider two steps in this stair then you can see suppose let me draw here so this is first stair and this is second stair okay so you have to reach here how you can reach you can either climb one step or two step at a time so first you go here and then from there you go here so this is one way that is using one step plus one step another possible step is instead of going like this fashion what you can do you can directly go from the bottom to directly here okay using two step okay so there are two possible ways so output should be two okay if you consider the next example suppose input is three so here one stair second and third one two and three so how many ways lots of ways you will get so first one is you go, go one step here then one step here one step here so this is first possible way where three ones okay so one step plus one step plus one step next possible way let us check so let me just erase this part so now suppose what you can do you can from ground step you can directly go two step up and the last step you just go one step okay so this that is two step in the first one and one step in the second case so this is another possible way so we got two possible way and third possible way which is quite obvious that what we will do we will go one step up here and directly two step up here so this is another possible way okay so total number of ways in which i can go up to third step is nothing but three okay those are one step plus one step plus one step then first one step and then second time two step and third one is first time two step and second time one step okay so output should be three try to think about one algorithm which can be used to solve this particular problem in internet you may find solution where uh, dynamic programming is used or the concept of fibonacci uh, uh, relating the problem particular problem with the fibonacci it has been solved but here I am going to show you one another way where this type of problem when it appears in aptitude test how we solve in the same way we will do the programming okay I am discussing only the algorithm part if you understand the algorithm you can write the code by your own the code I will post in the comment section okay so try to understand suppose the destination that is number of steps uh, is even okay suppose n equal to 6 so how we can go suppose let me draw here 1 step 2 step 3 step 4 step 5 step and 6 step so 1 2 3 4 5 and here 6th okay now how you can reach here one possible way is in each case you just jump or take only one step okay that is all possible one okay that then what we do there is another possible way that is basically nothing but very simple um let me erase this part suppose you take one step here and then here directly takes two step then one step then one step then one step okay so one time two step rest all the time one step so the arrangement how many possible arrangement can happen here this two step you can take in the beginning itself in the middle or at the last step anywhere you can take right so here we have to use permutation combination logic very simple when we are taking all one step 
in how many possible ways all one can be arranged very simple six factorial by six factorial because here number of ones are six there is only one way okay then in the next case when one time two step we are taking and rest of the time one step then our stepping is nothing but one 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 two now these two can be placed anywhere so how many possible arrangement you will get see how many places five so five factorial by how many ones four so four factorial into how many two one one factorial five factorial by four factorial into one factorial then what we can do then another possible way. let us go to next possible way next in the next possible way what we can do suppose here we take one two step and another time one two step and raise two steps we will cover by one step one step so that means in the whole journey we will take two one step and two two step now this can be arranged in how many ways see four places can be arranged in four factorial but their two ones are repeated so by two factorial and two twos are repeated into two factorial okay and last possible is ways what all these steps we will take just simply two steps and as n is even it is possible to cover the whole journey by simply two steps okay for any n equal to even case like here if you can see for n equal to six here one two step you will take from here two step you will take and then from here two step you will take six total steps we can cover right so whenever n equal to n equal to even uh, the whole journey can be covered by taking only two steps so now how many possible combination only one combination or in the formula of permutation combination if you take three places total arrangement three factorial but here three twos are they are divided by three factorial that is only one only so this is one of the possible way okay now how you can write the code for this the idea just observe the pattern you can write the code by yourself the total number of uh, the n that is n factorial you just compute and in the numerator what is happening just decrement by one term that is divide by n okay six factorial is divided by six you will get five factorial five factorial divided by five you will get four factorial four factorial divided by four you will get three factorial so numerator if we get the n factorial we can get the successive uh, uh, successive parts of our numerator now consider the basically in the denominator there are two terms one is for total number of repetition of ones another one is for total number of repetition of twos okay but in the first step and in the last uh, method in the first method where all ones in the second method where all twos only one term are present so what we can say here one factorial we can simply multiply right because one factorial means one only so here also one factorial so we can say like this that in the first step the number of twos there is there no two steps so we will consider that as one factorial because multiplication by one will not affect anything and in the last step there is no one step but still we will calculate as one factorial because multiplied by one if you multiply in denominator that will affect nothing so basically our new arrangement will look like this so basically three terms we have to take care of one is numerator which can be easily computed if you calculate n factorial you just divide by n factorial by n compute successively 6 factorial by 6 you will get 5 factorial 5 factorial by 5 you will get 4 factorial 4 factorial by 4 you will get 3 factorial and so on now we have to think about the terms of 1 see how the terms of 1 is changing 6 factorial 4 factorial 2 factorial 1 factorial it is quite clear how we are doing if you don't consider this one see basically these are nothing but uh, even power of n factor e e e even uh, that is even number uh, if we start incrementing i variable from 1 to n for the even value of i the factorial values we are taking in case of 1 and in case of 2 how it is changing see 1 factorial 1 factorial and then from the second term onwards the 2 factorial then 3 factorial and if you go next one you will get 4 factorial like that that is in incrementing by 1 factorial so this is the pattern which is following in this numerical suppose n is odd how it is happening so there is one way when we will take all the one step and we will reach the fifth step okay so all one combination can be arranged by five factorial by five factorial wise then we can take only one two step and rest of the step as one step and we can reach the destination that is three one step and one two step the how many possible arrangement four factorial by three factorial into one factorial then we can take two 
two step and one one step and as it is at how many possible arrangement that is th three places can be filled in three factorial ways by number of ones repeated it is only one number of twos repeated is two so that two factorial see the arrangement again numerator is just if you calculate n factorial there is five factorial successively you have to divide by n just decrement the n and divide by it so five factorial by five you will get the second numerator uh, four factorial by four you will get next numeric uh, numerator like that for the coefficient of one Previously, we have to take the even term. See, 1, 2, 4, 6 for the 1. Now, we have to take the odd 1. 1, 3, 5 and so on. Okay. So, odd factorial terms you just take simple and the coefficient of 2 is changing in the same way. Suppose here no coefficient for the 2 is present. Suppose we are considering as 1 factorial. So, from the second term, 1 factorial, 2 factorial. If it go, go further, you will get 3 factorial like that. Okay, so that, that is what. So, see, the numerator is decrementing by n. The one coefficients are just taking the odd values factorial. And the two is basically, for the first two terms, it is one factorial. From the next onwards, second term onwards, just one factorial, two factorial, three factorial, like that, it will go. Okay, you can check for other values of n. You can understand the same pattern in both the cases. Okay, so code is given in the comment section. You can check. This is all for my this video. Thank you for watching.